Warning, always check the charger lead, welding guns, cables, grounding connection, and battery pack for damage before every use. Notice, the tactical welder power pack must be fully charged before using the welder for the first time. Remove the swan neck nozzle assembly and disconnect each of the parts from each other. Also remove the wire liner brass. Ensure that the wire size to be installed is compatible with the contact tip. If they are not compatible, replace the tip or choose a different wire size. Open the wire housing protective cover and wire top housing on the spool gun. Remove the spool retaining nut, the compression sleeve, and the rubber spacer. Place the wire spool onto the spool holder, being sure to hold the wire to prevent rapid uncoiling. Place the spool of wire onto the spool spindle. Insert the rubber spacer onto the spool spindle. Place the compression sleeve onto the spool spindle. Use the retaining nut to tighten the compression sleeve and rubber spacer enough so that the spindle can rotate with a certain amount of friction. The spool should not be so loose that it wobbles around on the spindle, nor should it be so tight that the wire drive mechanism cannot pull the wire off the spool. In some cases, the compression sleeve may not be needed and or the rubber spacer may need lubrication. Ensure the wire tension knob is unlocked. Swing the tensioner aside. Check that the drive roller matches the wire diameter. Replace the roller if necessary. Carefully feed the wire through the inlet guide tube. Carefully feed the wire over the drive roller into the outlet guide tube and feed through to the opposite side. Pull 12 inches of wire through the end of the gun. Check that the wire is in the drive roller's groove. Close the tensioner, then lock down the wire tension knob. Close the wire top housing. Apply an adequate amount of pressure to the drive roller by turning the wire tension knob. Adjust the spool holder tension with the retaining nut as needed. Feed the wire liner brass over the wire. Install the swan neck straight tube and then install the insulator. Fit the correct size contact tip and feed the wire through it. Screw the contact tip into the tip holder of the torch neck and nip it up tightly. Fit the gas nozzle to the torch head and close the wire spool cover. Plug in the gun to the battery using the 4-pin connector only. Squeeze the trigger and adjust the speed controller if necessary. The wire should come out of the gun easily. If the spooling wire is slow to come out or does not come out, loosen the retaining nut until the wire flows smoothly. The rubber spacer may need to be lubricated and or the compression sleeve may need to be removed. If the spool spins too freely, tighten the wire tension knob to increase pressure on the wire roller.